Hi everyone, welcome to Best Practices. This is for kindergarten order and compare numbers to 10. My name is Alyssa and today we will be deciding what we should see in our kindergarten classroom. All right, so hopefully that gave you a little laugh. And now we're gonna talk about what are students gonna be doing when they are ordering and comparing numbers to 10. So we are gonna be talking about greater than, less than, and equal to. However, students will not be using the um, symbols for the greater than and less than symbol yet. They are gonna be using different strategies like matching um, and counting, and you should be hearing kindergarten students using the comparative language, such as saying greater than, less than, equal to, same as, um, but not necessarily needing to write it down quite yet. They will be comparing sets of objects as well as pictures, and then eventually um, comparing just the numerals and the amounts. So another thing to think about when you are um, in your classroom is, are you noticing number lines? Because one really important tool that we want to be using with students is the number line when we're comparing. So what is all that going to look like? So here you see a few images of some student work. You've got students using concrete objects with the matching strategy, students using number lines and counters. Specific to number lines, there are all kinds of different ways uh, that students could be using number lines. You see a few examples here. So what will student learning sound like? We want to be hearing our students talking to each other, talking to us and explaining their thinking. So hearing things like, I made a connection or I know that five is greater than two because or I know that my number is greater or less because, um, specifically with the number line, I know that my answer is correct because I can prove it to you on my number line. So we just want to make sure that we are listening to what students are saying to dig into their mathematical thinking. And here's an idea of some of the words that we want our students to be using. Keep in mind that word walls are fantastic. However, what is more important is that the students are using the words in their, um, in their everyday language and when they're talking about the math. So um, having the words on the word wall is um, secondary to them using the words while they're having discussions. So how are students going to demonstrate their knowledge about comparing numbers? Well, we're working with kindergartners, remember, so using the observation, observation checklist or some version of the observation checklist during instruction daily is going to be one of your most effective ways to um, collect evidence of student learning. There are also exit tickets and show what you know activities and multitudes of um, things that you could use to demonstrate student understanding, um, but keep in mind that your own observations and students' conversations with you are just as important as something more formal like an exit ticket. And while you're walking around the classroom, um, while students are engaged in the mathematics, try to look beyond just who's getting the right answer and not and ask them some questions to dig into their understanding because you will be surprised at what students will tell you they do understand. And here are a few examples of questions that you could ask. Uh, how is the number line helping you compare numbers? Or how else could you compare the numbers four and seven? So we wanna make sure we're asking those good questions. And a final reminder to keep your families engaged in the math um, there are parent letters and activities to send home, so make sure that we are keeping the communication there with our families and giving students something to carry what they're learning back to their home. All right, that's it for now, and we'll see you next time for joining and testing.
separate.